<laughs> uh, have you ever thought about adding servers for previous expansions as they were then? No. And, and by the way, you don't want to, that, to do that either. You think you do, but you don't. So, Blizzard has a uh, classic WoW coming just over the horizon any day. Hours, I think, actually, from uh, this point of recording. But anyway, like anything, they're going to have some problems, and they already have congestion problems, pretty much, to be totally honest. Uh, so, Blizzard has decided to go ahead and launch some new servers along with it they're opening some new classic servers as a warning uh after a warning of severe queues at launch because let's face it everybody wants to play classic now but uh yeah so be on the lookout for that just thought i'd let you know if you hadn't heard about it yet we will be getting some new realms um i won't be because i'm not playing of course i hadn't played since december i'm over on final fantasy 14 that's where the fun is. Anyway, Blizzard will be opening four more WoW Classic servers hours before launch on Monday, August 26th, in the hopes of easing the server queue expected on the busiest servers. It will open two PvP servers or realms and two normal servers, each one for the Eastern uh, for Eastern and Pacific time zones. The realms will open for registration at 10 a.m. And WoW Classic goes live at 3 p.m. We urge players on realms marked for high or full to plan to play on one of those new realms to avoid the longest queues and to hope help spread the word of population as or as ever as possible. Uh, it said in a forum post. In the last several updates, Blizzard warned of overcrowding on six servers. <sighs> <laughs> it's previous said queues on the busiest realms would last several hours several hours for a queue holy snap i mean i'm no stranger to queue times getting into a server but several hours whoo if you've reserved a slot on one of those servers it might be worth switching over on monday when the new servers go live the new realms are Insidious, PvP, Bigsworth, Bigglesworth, Old Blanche, and Westfall, which are normal. We are getting up, uh, gearing up for WoW Classic. Take a look at Jennifer's Guide, blah, 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 this, that, and the other. Anyway, if you need a guide for WoW Classic, somebody's got guides. There are plenty of guides out there. There's probably still guides out there from years ago. But uh, aside from that, the other interesting thing that's coming with Classic is... The removal of skeletons. Honestly, I don't don't really know how to uh, feel about this one at all. To be totally honest, I don't really care. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Skeletons a skeleton. However, <clears throat> however, it was nice to see that you know other people had died there and all this other stuff, and you, they sort of tell a story. Um, like, for instance. The worst raid boss of World of Warcraft to date. The one that has killed probably more players to date and still kills players. Almost regularly or semi-regularly. Are going to be the elevators of Azeroth. If it's a far enough drop, you best bet you could probably go down to the bottom and find a few skeletons collecting dust down there. Where people have fallen to their death. But anyway, on August 27th, World of Warcraft Classic will give players the opportunity to return to the world of Azeroth in its original form, or at least almost its original form. One small feature will be missed. No skeletons will be left on the ground after players die. In a recent Reddit post, Blizzard confirmed the news, stating that they want to prevent players from using the skeletons to create negative messages, hate speech, and advertisement. Ooh, those dawn skeletons. Really, Blizzard? Really? That is such a cop-out. 
Honestly, I have a feeling it has something to do with China. Just saying. They don't have skeletons at all. I'm surprised they haven't actually sort of thrown this in there and just not told anybody that when you die, you just get a gravestone and the skeletons are all gone altogether. But anyway, some fans looking forward to the classic have been disappointed in the news as the skeletons were a fun feature in earlier versions of the game. They made in-game events feel more realistic as they littered the battlefield to symbolize PvP combat that had taken place earlier on, and even marked a comic spot where another player had died. Some fear that getting rid of the skeletons slightly takes away from the World of Warcraft classic authenticity authenticity as the move takes the game a step back from its purpose recreating the original of azeroth is that all they got oh they've actually got a picture here for you to look at i've got a few too to show you anyway fans suggest that blizzard should simply ban players who use the skeletons to provoke negative messages or advertise instead of completely taking out the skeletons of the game i mean that's one way of going about it I mean, if you really feel that bad about it, that somebody has written a word that is super offensive to somebody, just ban them or something and say, hey, look, you know, you arrange your skeletons in a way it shouldn't be, so uh, get banned for 24 hours or something. I don't know. Other fans bought up the fact that the skeleton feature was very rarely ab abused, which is true, too. And that the entire classic fan base is being punished for the words or for the uh, would be actions of a small group of delinquencies. Totally true. <laughs> Some even suggest that Blizzard should consider going back to the previous way in which they handled the situation. Allow players to only have one skeleton per hour or so to stop the skeleton spam. That's also, you know, something you can do. Uh, players who have been following the game for some time know that it's not the first time World of Warcraft has had skeleton controversy. Back in 2006, 17, 2007, I can't breathe. My allergies kick my tail at night, apparently. Chinese copies of the game had no skeletons whatsoever, as they were replaced with gravestones, which I mentioned. At that time, a staff member who worked for the Nine the company running the Chinese version of WoW cited Chinese regulations for the decision. Blah, blah, blah. On the other hand, Blizzard's decision seems to be more of a prospective PR move than an actual censorship of skeletons. Experience is most likely the cause here. As the company has certainly dealt with abusive content made via skeletons in the earlier days of WoW, yeah, it was so rampant. So rampant that nobody cared because it was rarely done anyway if yeah rarely done anyway and the company has uh, certainly dealt with the abusive content made via skeletons in its earlier days of wow which is why they were eventually patched out in the first place it's unfortunate that classic wow won't be the same as the original world warcraft down to every last detail but we're pretty sure blizzard including most of the important features of the game will still have a blast Anyway, skeletons. Honestly, I don't really care that much about them. However, we're talking about going back to classic WoW, all that other good stuff, where there's going to be PvP and other things out in the world again, like it used to be. People are going to run around, they're going to have to wait till 40 before they can even mount up and go anywhere. You know, there's not going to be like straight up teleports anywhere to all the stuff you're going to have to actually run there fly points all that good jazz people are going to be in the world again which is a good thing and the skeletons tell an important story to the world but let's go ahead and take a look this is just a quick screen cap of somebody advertising their money thing for dot com Ooh, it, it it's horrible anyway figure out who did it ban them whoop de doo this, on the other hand, is what I really want to show you. This is the aftermath after um, a lot of things happened. <laughs> um, so, classic WoW. There were raids on cities and other stuff. I hadn't really seen a raid on an actual city in years. 
since honestly I've heard of people making raids and going raiding cities but other than actually seeing them I hadn't seen them since Wrath of Lich King to be totally honest and players would go in destroy everything the objection is to take down whoever the leader of the city is and all the big people and stuff like that I mean there's an achievement for doing it but also at one point in time there was a glitch I guess you can call it a glitch there was a particular boss and they gave a poison sort of a plague on um, a player and it found out that if a hunter's pet was given said plague and they dismissed their pet and then went back to a city and resummoned their pet, called their pet back, that pet would then start spreading the plague to everybody. We had literally a straight up, it, it was great. <laughs> oh gosh, that was the best time ever. So there's this plague devouring everybody in all the major cities. And it does damage. It, it straights up starts ticking you and ticking you and ticking you. And it wasn't designed to come out of the raid. <laughs> and it spreads from player to player, like practically airborne at this point in time. And the bodies were numerous. There were skeletons everywhere. You had people running out of the cities. You had priests and things making like triage areas outside of cities trying to heal people, trying to keep them alive, trying to keep the, sp the spread of this plague while you had other players running in like a bunch of um t words because i don't think i can say that one on youtube anymore um running in and trying to spread the plague to as many people as possible it was a fun time and the skeletons tell the story of that whether it's hillsbrad or anywhere else in the world um you know where major conflict would occasionally happen those skeletons tell a story, and to lose them, I don't, I don't like that, to be totally honest. <laughs> you know, I said earlier, I don't care, but then I do care. It's, it's a weird thing. Like, the fact that skeletons, I mean, they could take the skeletons out of the game right now of current version. I probably wouldn't bat an eye. Taking it out of classic, though, kind of takes away from part of the experience, especially if, say, a plague like that ever happens again. <laughs> And there's other major PvP that happens. You know, it tells a story. You run across the town. It's littered with skeletons. Obviously, some group clashed there. And it's it's a fun thing to watch. Anyway, let me know what you think about all this down in the comments below. I will see you later. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment. Smash that like button. And always subscribe for more. And of course there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen, so click one of those and see if you can find something that uh, suits your fancy. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.